don't lose momentum don't lose steam you are definitely going to make it if you have come this far also try to read books at a faster pace so that you finish the syllabus in its entirety that's very important about the three c's that is completeness comprehensiveness and it should be clear and concise the fourth c that is how we create this final output for the examiner depends on how you are preparing the vision is uh, innovative assessment system is uh, so true or rather close to upsc in simulating upsc <laughs>
Now I'm talking about, you know, completeness. You talked about analysis to be multidimensional and of course being clear and concise, the presentation aspects. Now that you have talked about this, ma'am. So now coming to the most pertinent question that how important is to uh, hone our answer writing at this, you know, then the last leg of the preparation and what strategies can we adopt to improve answer writing in this phase? So like I mentioned about the three C's, that is completeness, comprehensiveness, and it should be clear and concise. The fourth C, that is how we create this final output for the examiner depends on how you are preparing. Now, how you are preparing, see first and foremost, any topic that you are reading, any topic that you are reading, whether it is static or current affairs, make sure that you are not dwelling too deep into it you should be able to identify just by skimming the pages and the paragraphs, you should be able to identify the important keywords. So for example, let's say I am talking about the you know role of district administration in disaster management. I should be able to highlight words such as identifying buildings for relief. Right you know building up uh, material for uh, relief and rehabilitation. Uh, coordination, interagency coordination. I should be highlighting uh, important terms such as building a disaster, district disaster management plan. Yeah. So the key words that are associated with every topic should be highlighted and they should automatically reflect because writing sentences is the easier part in the examination. It is just these keywords that the examiner is looking for in your answer copy. And that is what will make all the difference in your answers vis-a-vis -vis in an answer of someone who's not very well prepared. So for answer writing students, I would like to tell them, look, there are three categories of students who are, you know, by now appearing for mains. First is those category of students, category A, let's call them category A students who have been consistently practicing answer writing on a regular basis, whether it is on a daily basis or through regular mock tests. So those students are good to go. They should continue doing what they are doing. They should continue assessing themselves based on their mock results and they should continue practicing. So they, they are in a good place. Category B students are those who have been on and off practicing answer writing but have not been very consistent with their efforts. For those students, I would like to tell them that they should probably write two, at least two answers on a daily basis and one mock test on a weekly basis or every four to five days. Now, since we are just 30 days or plus away from the examination, so by the, by the exam when it actually comes, they would have written at least six to seven mock tests with about, you know, two to three answers on a daily basis that would make like around 50, 60 answers, which is a good number. And this way they can improve their speed. I this think. way they can improve their speed also. And category C students who have perhaps not done any answer writing or very little answer writing, they should make that effort on a daily basis. They should very carefully look at the toppers answer copies from which they can gain ideas as to how answers can be written in a crisp and concise manner and at least practice uh, mock tests on a you know more regular basis like every three or four days in this given period. Right ma'am, very comprehensive and very interesting and important point made by you for you know all the categories of student who are in that situation and how they can improve their answer writing. So ma'am, coming to the next part, now that we have discussed the challenges and how, how to overcome them and the importance of answer writing. So Vision IS provides the most awaited program which is the Abhyas program for more practice and to be more accustomed to the actual exam and to prepare to your best right. for the actual exam. Right. So ma'am, if you could throw light on the Abhyas program and how it will help the students as well. Uh, Ramakand, I can very proudly say that the Vision IS uh, innovative assessment system is uh, so true or rather close to UPSC in simulating UPSC that we have had an assessment of what are the scores that we have given to our toppers and what was their score in the exam actual examination in UPSC and we clearly see a pattern where there is a con you know considerable matching of scores or trends that we have given them and what UPSC has also given so there is a clear uh, you know correlation or you, you can say you know some kind of an understanding that vision is has with respect to how copies are to be evaluated what 
what are what is the you know how the examiner's mind works and all that can be put into use through our abhyas test series so abhyas test series for students uh, before this year used to have only general studies papers and perhaps essay but now this year we have also included optionals so not only for general studies but also for about 7 8 optional subjects you the students who are you opted for those subjects can comprehensively attempt mains as if they would attempt the actual exam and of course simulating the examination like environment and conditions is equally important uh, let's not forget that this exam is not just tough because of the vastness of the syllabus but also the fact that you have to write so many papers in a span of 3 to 5 days the intensity the yes. intensity so first day you're writing essay the second day you're writing two gs papers third day writing again two, two gs papers it is a lot of writing you know it's about 6 hours writing on a day daily basis which students are sometimes not you know used, used to, to. Right. and this abhyas exercise is something that can really help them understand that the kind of stamina they need to develop for the actual examination very true ma'am the stamina the intensity is something that the simulating experience is going to provide them right so ma'am any final advice that you would give to our aspirants who are preparing for this last leg of their mains preparation yeah that they could you know adopt i would just like to tell the students that uh, in this last 30 plus days that you have don't lose momentum don't lose steam you are definitely going to make it if you have come this far also try to read books at a faster pace so that you finish the syllabus in its entirety that's very important and also that that highlight the keywords because those are the keywords that the examiner will look for in your answers and those are that that will make your answer shine out and give you those extra marks that you require thank you so much ma'am for your valuable insight and especially the 3 c's and the 4 c which will definitely benefit the students in their last leg of preparation thank you ma'am thank you ramakan so dear aspirants i hope this session was really beneficial and all the uh, suggestions and advice given by ma'am could be adopted in the last leg of preparation to make your preparation more effective so thank you for watching this all the very best for your exam